The world's largest three-on-three -three basketball tournament is getting bigger. HoopFest organizers say nearly 7,000 teams have signed up, shattering last year's record. More teams mean more basketball courts in downtown Spokane. Here's a look at the expansion. There will be courts on Washington Street, north of River, Riverfront Park, and in the new parking lot across the street from the Opera House. KXY4 is Tanya Dahl live in downtown. Tanya, a prime spot almost got the boot. Dave, that's right. This city block was on the Hoop Fest chopping block. Take a look. Where I'm standing is the old road, ruts, potholes, a major mess. But city crews were out today resurfacing and they helped save nine popular Hoop Fest courts. Yeah, we were just going to give these courts up. Walking away from prime Hoop Fest real estate isn't easy when it's your job to transform downtown Spokane into a basketball playing paradise. And we've been setting world records for a while, but uh, this year we've grown again amazingly and we'll be over 6,900 teams, over 27,000 players. Topping the Hoop Fest to-do list, making sure city streets are basketball court ready. It's a big block, so there'll be nine courts on this block and those would have been courts that we wouldn't have had. So This year, a stretch of Spokane Falls Boulevard between Washington and Stevens was almost bumped off the list of court locations. A beat up, uneven, pothole filled road just wouldn't be safe for players. Each court that we have is critical, and for the city to come through big time for us uh, really means a lot to us. The City of Spokane Street Department fixed a problem today, agreeing to foot the repaving bill. Some say new asphalt doesn't seem that spendy when it's helping boost a tournament that brings in an estimated $37 million to the area. I think it's great because I think Hoopfest is important for Spokane. So, you know, if we can have better courts for all the people that come to Spokane, it's better for our community. As city street crews smooth away Spokane's imperfections for a weekend of dribbling and dunking, one seasoned driver wants the paving love shared. My neighborhood needs to be paid, the roads I drive on it needs to be paid, but I know why they're doing this, you know, because of the entertainment business. And the city of Spokane says that it actually did receive several complaints about this stretch of roadway, but it did factor Hoopfest into this current paving. Uh, and if you'd like to sign up and help out with Hoopfest, they are still looking for volunteers. They're looking for court monitors, actually. Just log on to KXLY.com and click on news links. Reporting live, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4. HD News.